Welcome back to YouTube. Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how anybody can get a 40 inch vertical and dunk. It doesn't matter you're four foot two, motherfucking six foot eight. Well, obviously you should dunk you fucking six foot eight. Well, this is more catered to my short kings like myself. I'm gonna show you how you get that fucking bounce up. But well, y'all seeing now some clips of my of me dunking, just showing y'all I do got a little bit of bounce. And I am five eight, by the way. I promise you guys. But let's get into the video. Okay, first, y'all, we're going to get to a little bit of science. I'm not going to be a nerd with it. So, first, we got power. Power is going to be force times velocity. Basically, force is strength, like how much, like, squatting and stuff, deadlifting. Velocity is going to be things like plyos and stuff and all that. And the last is to put that all together. Power could be summed up to something like a power clean or how fast you can produce that force with your velocity. I hope I explained that right. That's the simpler way of explaining it while being a nerd. The second thing we recover, y'all, will, um, damn, not recover, but you know what I'm trying to say. The second thing we'll talk about is the stretch shortening cycle or SSC. This refers when it says a muscle is lengthening and then immediately followed by a muscle shortening. That's the scientific definition, the boring way. So lastly, y'all, okay, and lastly, y'all, before we start the video, this is going to be some different exercises you're going to need to jump higher. We'll be going over applied measures, ballistics training, and Olympic weightlifting. Let's get into the video, y'all. So, y'all, the first thing I would do if I wanted to jump higher to get my vertical up would be to increase my strength in the weight room. And the main exercise you're going to need for strength base would be squats. That could be front squats, but I prefer back squats. It just, you get to load more weight onto the bar. And this would be probably the number one exercise I would do. You really have to worry about deadlifts and all those type of things. The main thing I would do is just squat a lot. Front squat, back squat, just things of that nature. Okay, y'all. Secondly, after you build that strength, and this is a video of me failing the hand clean because I couldn't find any good clips of me hand clean because my form is ass. But back to what I was saying, after you develop that strength, you want to turn it to power by um, moving a heavy weight really fast. So that's the second thing you would want to do. So next, y'all, we're going to get into the ballistic training I was talking about. And ballistic training is going to be um, a lot of jumping with weights. So with that, I like to do a hex bar or a trap bar um, deadlift with the jumps. Or I like to get some dumbbells, something light in between like 10 and 15 pounds and do some jumps with it. And that's the um, third thing you need to do to jump higher. Now we're going to go into my last movement, aka the most underrated movement to me. It's going to be called elasticity. It applies, but it's more elasticity work too. And this is going to be a Depth, not depth, but D E P T H jump slash drop jump. And with these, I love these. These are probably the thing other than squatting really heavy. Well, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. All of these things you need, but this right here probably was the game change for me doing these right here. I know it seems so simple, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop off the box as soon as you hit the ground and split it as high as you can. And for the box height, I'll use. And for the box height, y'all, I'll use anywhere between 6 and 18 inches. No homo, as she said, depending on your level of, like, how long you've been training for. But lastly, y'all, I'm going to give y'all a simple vertical workout. But, yeah, this is the workout on the stream. You guys try this. It should help. Well, I know it will help depending if you're a beginner. If you're more advanced, you may have to tweak it a little bit to your um, to what you need. To work on that strength or power or elasticity slash files. But I hope you guys like the video. I love you guys. Like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.